Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the All Star Inshore Series fishing rods. Now, I just started using these rods about three to four months prior to making this video, so I've got a good bit of use out of them. I've actually bought more of them uh, just because I'm happy with the product. I like it very much, it casts very well. It's a very sturdy, strong rod. It's also very lightweight, so if you're throwing around artificial lures all day, it's a very good rod to use. So first, just to talk about the construction of this rod, it is a graphite blank, which makes it nice and very light, but it's very strong. Also, it has a cork handle, which is pretty much standard across the board with many fishing rods nowadays. Also, the reel seat, this is a Fuji reel seat. And then when we get to the guides, these guides on here are actually micro guides. As you can see, they're really small. They're smaller than most standard guides on a fishing rod and that actually helps out a bit especially with casting because it actually controls your line better you don't get as much line slap as the line goes out so it really controls that line as you cast and you get a much smoother cast out of it and another thing with the guides there are eight guides total there's seven plus the tip and that actually helps out a lot too especially with sensitivity because that creates more contact points with your line on the rod so it definitely helps out with sensitivity. Also, again, helps out with casting because it really controls that line as it's going out of your rod. Now, as far as the construction of the guides, they are stainless steel, so corrosion resistant, which is definitely a plus if you're fishing in, uh, inshore or saltwater. Also, the inserts of the guides are aluminum oxide, so another good uh, anti-corrosion piece of the rod. Now, one nice little fact that I uh, read about these rods when looking on their website is that the taper is actually built into the rod. The taper is where basically the rod goes from thicker to thinner and it's built into the rod and it's not actually sanded down. It's not sanded down to a gradual taper or grounded down to a gradual taper because what happens when you have a rod that is actually sanded down you're losing any material on the rod so you're actually making it thinner. You're uh, thinning out that material and that can actually weaken the rod. So the taper is actually built into the rod which makes it nice and strong and sturdy and reliable. Now if you're looking to purchase these rods, the only downfall is they're hard to find. Uh, they're only available at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Uh, you can usually find these stores near you. They're starting to expand a bit. Or you can go to their website and order these online. Now if you go to the All-Star website, it's actually going to redirect you to the Academy Sports and Outdoors website if you want to purchase them. So that's a big downfall. They're not easy to come by, but they're only a hundred bucks and that's a really good price range for a good quality rod like this. So not too expensive, but not too cheap, but the way it's built, that price definitely works well for it. And now the last thing I want to talk about with these rods. They're labeled as technique specific. Now with that being said, if you notice on this rod, it says Croker Special. I don't know if you could read that there. For some reason it says Croker Special, but this rod in particular, it's a seven foot six medium action rod. Now, when you go to purchase these rods, don't let that label confuse you because you might have a preference of whatever rod you like to use as far as the length goes and the power, the action. So as you can see here, I'm on the All-Star website on the Inshore Series rods, and they do have casting rods and also the spinning rods, which I'm showing you in this video. And as far as the spinning rods go, they have a variety of lengths, as you can see from six foot eight all the way up to seven and a half foot. And the power ranges from medium light to medium heavy. Now the medium power rods are much more stiffer in my opinion than many other rods with that medium power rating. It's almost like more of a medium heavy rating uh, for other rods. So the medium power is a lot more stiffer than most other medium powers. So these rods do tend to be a little bit more stiff than other rods that are very similar. And also you can see on their site, they go by model number as opposed to that label that I showed you on the rod. And when you find these rods in a store, you'll see that label on there. And it's usually the first thing you see because it stands out, it's bigger, and you can see it. As opposed to the small writing on the other side of the rod, which are the specifications. So just be sure you're picking out the right length and the right power 
for whatever you're used to and you're comfortable using. So that will wrap up this review of the All Star Inshore Series fishing rods. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you're interested in seeing this rod in action a little more, I actually use this rod in my inshore uh, fishing reports that we do for our Salt Strong Insider Club. So if you want to check out that club, go to saltstrong.com forward slash insider, and we also guarantee that we will help you catch fish in less time. So definitely check that out. Until then, I'll see you on the next video.